Hi, this is Richard. We're going to be doing some quick tips on a few different things in Blender here. So to start off with, we are going to talk about um, doing proportional editing. This is something I recommend to a lot of people, so I wanted to real quick explain how it works. So I've got this cube here, and now I want it to be more than just a cube, so I'm going to go ahead and subdivide this a whole bunch of times to get a whole bunch of different vertices. And then I want to make this a rounded face here, so I can grab this one and drag it out, and I'll have to grab all these around it like this and drag those out as well and then okay and then a little bit more maybe then we'll grab all these around it and now it's becoming a, a rounded square as well so i'm going to have to kind of figure out my circle pattern and work that in as well and that can be pretty frustrating to get it exactly how you're wanting it to look. So there should be an easier way, and there is. It's called proportional editing. Look at this right here, this little button. It looks like nothing, just a little circle that's all grayed out. Whoops, <laughs> there we go, let's erase this. All right, we are going to use that. So let's select this one vert here in the center of the top. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to click on Connected. Now, when I hit G to grab and Z to lock it to the Z-axis, I get this big circle. That is my proportional editing circle. Everything inside this is going to be edited at the same time. Now I can just pull this up, and I get a circular face because it's editing this proportionally to the distance that that one selected vertice is moving. And watch, if I scroll my mouse wheel, this gets smaller, so less things are being proportionally edited. It's whatever's inside this little circle. And then we can scroll all the way out and it'll start doing the whole cube. And it's based on what's connected to it. Now the other thing that you can do is, let's add a circle in here. We're just gonna move it here. I have this set to connected because that's how I use it the most. But you can just hit O to turn this on. And real quick, let me turn on my screencast key so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so. O turns this on. Now you see it's a solid little button. Now anything that I do is going to be inside of that sphere, regardless of if it's connected or not. So if I just grab this, you see I have a circle. The circle and the square move together like they're connected, but they're not. If I change this to connected and grab it, now you see only the squares moving. The circle's not being edited with it. That's the difference between those two different ways. And then let's look at these different uh, methods of proportional editing. We have random. This is pretty good for doing terrain and things like that. Now we have pretty random little mountain range there. Let's undo that. We have linear, which is going to make straight lines, as you can see. I've gone all, over all this in other movies as well. Um, other videos that I've done, but I wanted to focus specifically on this, and that's all we're doing, so it's really quick, get the information you need. This one's sharp, and you can see how it bends up kind of like the tines of a fork to a peak. And then we have root, which is going to bend it, and then it's going to fall off, much like that shape there. Um, there's probably more specific thing that it's doing with this. I couldn't tell you exactly what, it's just a different shape to use. Um, and then sphere is obviously a sphere. And then we're going to look at smooth, and that's generally the one that I leave it on to just smooth out some areas. And that's how we use proportional editing. You, if you're turning it off with O, notice that I was on connected, and now it puts me on enabled. So then I'm going to go over here, and I think that I have it turned off, and I'm just going to drag this one over. Whoops, everything's dragging with it. That's because I only hit O once. You hit it twice to turn it off from connected. And if you hit O to turn it on, it's going to put it on uh, just enabled, where it moves everything together. And then O again turns it back off. So that was just a quick overview of proportional editing, how to use it. And then let's open up this face real quick. And you can see why it's important to use proportional editing. Because if you have something like a face, you can quickly and easily grab these cheekbones and pull them out, pull them up, and it doesn't deform your mesh uh, in an ugly way. 
and you don't have to do it to each vertice. It's going to give you a smooth um, deformation. Like if I want to make the nose tip up a little bit. See, just like that. And then, well, it's not the most pretty face because I made those cheekbones way too huge, but it was just trying to give you an idea of why proportional editing is important. That's it for this one. It's just a quick tip, and I'm going to do another one here in just a second. So um, you have all these to look at. Also check out the beginner blender series and the intermediate that I'm working on currently so that you can have other ways to learn about blender. Thanks.